Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of Cisco News, another weekend recap for all of you. Let's hop into our first story, of course, most recently, actually an interview released by VacArm with MBK, apparently causing some disruption between the two, the MBK and Shocks, that being on Twitter. They had a short discussion back and forth, which I'll translate for you guys very shortly here. And quick shouts to Tim for actually translating the conversation for us, guys. Apparently, Shocks was quite offended by some of the things that VacArm said, or actually uh, the MBK said during that interview with VacArm. And on top of that, it's kind of confirms for the future. For all of you French uh, scene fans out there, does kind of confirm that trio, Shock, Smith's existence. They have tons of options for their fourth and fifth members as of right now. I'm sure you guys are very aware of this past weekend at DreamHack Marseille. G2 and Envious both not doing very well. Of course, Envious doing a bit better, but still over the past few months, both those teams very well struggling. And on top of that, you have other French options out there, people lingering in the French scene. Of course, you have Zai Wu or Kiyoshima. There are tons of options for this team in the future. And will they find a fourth and fifth member? It's almost guaranteed. As of right now, though, no one knows the timeline as to when they're going to try and form a new French roster, but it's pretty much promised right now guys a new French team is on the rise it's going to involve shock Smith's in existence and their fourth and fifth members could be just about anyone but now to break down the conversation on Twitter between shocks and MBK and kind of what caused a little bit of issues between the two of them so the conversation did start with these tweets and I'll link them all down below because they are still currently live it started off with shocks by saying all right so I just listened to MBK's interview for back arm and I think it's really sad since I thought we agreed and left on good terms when we decided to split apparently we didn't live in the same year didn't have the same problems and we're not even in the same team and shocks goes on to continue with his next tweet and says, I won't extend on the subject since there's already been enough drama in the French scene. It is just important to me that to say I did not agree with his words, so sorry, no popcorn tonight. But there was a little popcorn guys pulled out with one last tweet coming from Shox. He says, last thing that really matters to me was what has been said by MBK about my motivation. I've had known issues when I was playing, but I shared them openly with everyone. Since I became the captain, I've never given up nor stopped working for CS. I'm just sad that no one recognizes that. And then MBK shoots his first of two replies, first of all by saying, we obviously agreed that it was better for everyone to stop. We have different opinions on the issues when we had inside the team, though we certainly agree on many things, but I think it would be better to talk about it in private messages. And MBK finishes the conversation with one last tweet saying, Lack of motivation does not mean not having any. I don't know how you interpreted that. Half of the VacArm interview is missing, in which I said that I wish I had your level when you were leading at your best, individually and as a team, but I haven't seen yet but I haven't yet seen the uploaded interview. So of course, a lot of speculation going on of what was left out there, what was included by VacArm. Apparently the interview's not been fully uploaded in itself. But nonetheless, this pretty much, I, I wouldn't say confirms, but pretty much guarantees and in some probable sense that these two will not be playing together in the future. And that of course might take MBK out of the future picture of that trio, Smith, Shocks, and of course, existence for that new French roster. We can pretty much count MBK out. And who does that leave left guys? Of course, there's many countless Envious and G2 players. Kenny S and, and RPK were being those two lead favorites. Zaiwu was another one out there but as of right now guys no one knows the future French roster comment down below your your goal French roster who would you like to see play together guys but there's certainly a new French team coming the only question now is when and also a very big CSGO news happening last night at the point of me uploading this video guys apparently a huge new backband wave has actually been set in action at the point of me recording this currently nothing's really showing on backband.com it might take 24 hours for those numbers to readjust and I'll surely show them with you guys in the future as to how many accounts have been backband it caused a huge uproar in the cheating and hacking scene as of right now tons of pictures out there being released and reported uh, apparently a bunch of all these cheated forums uh, people freaking out and trying to calm down their customers one alleged owner also said things like this and of course other people have seen their friends list turn into things like this where a bunch of people have actually been handed back bands apparently right now it's being called the server crash back band wave if you guys don't know what that means of course this past week in our latest updates we had a patch for the server crash hack so people would do is they'd be cheating in matchmaking they would then overload the server and crash it and that way overwatch was not possible they couldn't be banned uh, by CSGO's overwatch system and apparently Apparently everyone who's actually used that that server crash hack has now been given a VAC ban, rightfully so. Apparently right now that's the, the rumors out there. We'll see how big the VAC ban reportedly actually is. As of right now, no one, nothing's really showing in VACBAN.com, but we'll of course keep you guys posted in the future as to how big this VAC ban wave actually was. And also in huge CSGO news, reportedly a couple days ago when I had the, my last CSGO news episode, guys, LG was out of the ESL Belo Horizonte qualifier. If you guys don't know what that's for, ESL Belo Horizonte happening in June. A lot of great teams going to be there. FaZe Clan, uh, Mouse Sports, SK Games. Gaming, big space soldiers, as well as North American team known as Torqued. There's gonna be one more South American team going, guys, for a decently sized event, and of course, it will be in Brazil itself. So a huge event for the Brazilian teams to compete for, and that's gonna come down to a last chance qualifier. Uh, one of those two teams there is actually going to be Luminosity Gaming. The other one's gonna be Now Tem Combo. Both those teams are very big favorites, and the funny part is, throughout this qualifier, only one team can go through, and those are both the favorite teams. They've actually traded players and coaches. If you guys did not hear about this, of course, unfortunate news. This past episode, we had Steel who. 
lost his mother this past week, but some good news in his future as well. He's actually now been signed by Luminosity Gaming along with his former coach, that's actually former Mortals coach Zach, to that new roster. So some big news there because of course, Luminosity Gaming just lost Cello and their coach Apoka to now Tem Como. So at this qualifier, we're gonna see a big event, guys. Can the new roster, the new Luminosity Gaming roster, can they overcome their foes who just took their best, one of their better players and their coach from them? Can the new Luminosity Gaming roster with Steel and of course their coach, new coach Zach, can they overtake now Tem Como for that last ESL Belo Horizonte uh, in one spot? We're gonna see what happens, guys. It's gonna be a really fun qualifier to watch now with those eight Brazilian teams, two of them going head to head, and your definite favorites there have just traded rosters, which will prevail. And very last in today's episode of CSK News, kind of a special segment for all you Smoothie fans out there. I think there's a, a small dedicated fan base for UK players out there, and especially they always like to, they're, they're very well pronounced though. Of course, they're a very small group out there, but they they always stick together, they always have a strong response, and that's why I'm including this last segment for all of you Smoothie fans out there, or Smoo God fans out there. Most recently signed, of course, Team Big, his, his highest tier team sign ever, and I want to tell you guys why exactly Smoothie did have to leave. Of course, a lot of you guys are going to say his, his skill was what got him there, but no, the reason was, guys, and again, this is all, this is pretty much speculation. I don't really know why I'm saying this, but again, I think the reason why is because Epsilon could not kick one of their players known as Robin. If you guys don't know Robin, he was actually back banned back in 2015, allegedly also given bans on alt accounts in 2016 and 2017, and the team's been facing backlash for using him for quite some time now, until very recently, the, the kind of the backlash, of course, kind of superseded itself because they did manage to qualify with Smuya for Mountain Dew League. That's a big accomplishment now for a lot of teams out there, especially in the European scene. Mountain Dew League has become very competitive for some very, very top tier teams, going, being relegated from ESL Pro League to, of course, that EU side of Mountain do league epsilon did qualify they faced tons of backlash for this and I think the reason is because the team could not kick Robin. Of course, Smuya knew he had to go somewhere else. Now, of course, he's had some great games. He's showed some great skill. That's probably the main reason why he left. But here is Smuya himself saying, guys, he could never qualify with Epsilon for a major. And that is why he had to leave. Epsilon on the face. It open calls for major? Nope. Smuya, my guy. Hey, guys. Win Gfinity. Uh, the major when I kick Robin and qualify for that. I'm not really sure why I included a segment like that because I know you guys obviously know it was his skill that got him to Team Big and I hope in the best of the future and I cannot wait to buy some Smoothie Foil stickers but on top of that, I don't know why I included this segment. I'm going to go now. Hope you guys all enjoyed and uh, again, a special video coming out Thursday, guys. My first ever video of a five-part series comparing Valve cases, regular CSGO cases, to gambling site cases. I paid for it out of my own pocket so hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a super fun video. I will see you guys back here for a Friday episode of CSGO News and until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Live, love, laugh, laugh, my you and uh, goodbye.